This is Darren Lynn Bowsman. I am the director of Saw 4. Welcome to your rebirth. And the executive producer of Crow's Blood. And this is my top five horror films. Number five, Darren Aronofsky's Requiem for a Dream. While watching this film, I felt anxious, I felt terrified, and I felt disgusted. I consider it to be a very, very dramatic, but a horror film nonetheless. Going to number four is John Carpenter's Halloween. It is an iconic film that brings back a nostalgia that uh, very few films do. Also, the score. I mean, how can you not talk about that as being one of the great horror scores of all time? Number three is Exorcist. Some of the visuals, when I was a kid, when I watched it for the first time, terrified me and made me want to shower. From the head turning to the uh, pleasuring herself with the crucifix, Number two is Exorcist 3. George C. Scott and Brad Dourif's portrayal of the Gemini Killer was shocking and great, and it also has one of the best jump scares in cinema history. It is a single shot looking down a hallway of a hospital. You know something's gonna happen, but every time that thing happens, I still jump. My number one, it stuck with me as a kid, was Last House on the Left. Wes Craven is an idol and a hero of mine and many. It was one of those films that you just feel wrong watching it. There is a singular moment after Krug and his band of misfits get done torturing a girl. They stand up and they have regret on their face. It humanizes these killers. It was a bold choice and it was the first time that I remember as an audience member wanting to look up the director. This is director Darren Lynn Bowsman and these were my top five horror films.